So friends, ulti, ulti, remember it all started from Hex. Hex has many what we call Hex clones. So they just, they're basically games. They're online, they call them Ponzi-nomic games, Ponzi-nomics. They use the term like that. So it's just handing out yield in different ways and everyone experiments different ways. Now, Richard Hart has like 15 years staking and stuff. Then you have other clones came out. They tried to change the yield. There was a coin that removed the origin address, um, action, A-X-I-O-N, that they all rug, by the way, because um, there's no community. That's what I ended up, I, that's what I found in my, in the last bear market, friends. I was just working 18 hours a day and I found out, oh, that's why they don't, doesn't matter what you do with the yield. It doesn't matter. You need demand for the token. You need people to want the token. That's why Hex will always be supreme to all of them because Hex is the cult. It's the cult. It doesn't matter what its market cap is because I was always wondering, hey, if, if Hex is 5 billion market cap, can't someone just keep infinitely vampiring it at like 500 million and always be smaller? That's what you used to think at the start because cheap is better, right? No, cheap is not necessarily better. Uh, try buy a company like a biotech stock and then try your odds against the S&P 500. <clears throat> S&P 500 has 40 trillion market cap. Your biotech stock might have a shitty 10 million market cap, right? But the S&P 500, yeah, one biotech stock's going to win out of like 300 of them. The others are just going to completely lose. You see, there were lottery tickets pretty much. So what's U, it's U, L, T, or L, T. So remember, Zero X Steph, he was a hex whale. I don't know if he is now. was a big whale or a shark. Um, he just made another project. So it's remember, it's just like Titan X and Zen or anything else. They just they try to just hand out the coin in a different way. That's it. Everyone has their own ways of handing it out. Uh, and I think Ulti has like, ugh, I forgot what it is, man. I have to watch maybe Money Gang's video on it soon. Um, I think like every 33 days, there's like a buy and burn. But it's all the same thing, by the way. It's it's put your money in somewhere and then don't worry about what it does. It just, it spits out money somewhere on the other end. And in a bull market, people like these games because there's demand everywhere. So that's why I'll, I'll participate in this. But that, that's pretty much it. Like, I've just, I know it's totally musical chairs. You know, it's, these things are totally musical chairs. I mean, like, Hex is backed by a billionaire and it still went down 99%, just to give you an idea of just the, how rough it'll be. But hey, at the beginning of a bull market, we, I, don't, I don't care if it goes out. I mean, it's a lottery ticket. That's why I've introduced you to this concept of lottery ticket 90% call, 10% lottery. You go, oh, you're going to put your whole, whole life savings in it? No. Uh, lottery ticket. You know what a lottery ticket is? Yes. You know what? Understand what a lottery ticket is. Yeah, it's bull market play, safe moon type of play. Um, Luna, Moon, yeah, man, they went freaking big. And Safe Moon did like 4,000x. Luna did like 800x. People call Hex in the Ponzi-nomic ones as well, everyone out there. I mean, like, Hex, is, Hex hasn't recovered half its range. If Hex got back to, like, 20 cents, I think the rest of the crypto industry, they'll no longer call it Ponzi-nomics. But right now, because it's still down around 98 99%, that's eHex. They're all looking at eHex, right? Once it's around that zone, say the 20 Cent mark. So it's got about 10x to go, around 10x at that point. Then most of the Ponzi nomic haters, they'll have to call it something else. They'll just call it like another poopy coin or something. But right now it's Ponzi nomics. That, that's what they see in crypto, right? If something's down, they just say, oh, Ponzi scam. And if something goes up, they go, oh, it's future of finance, right? So yeah, I will participate in these. I don't even know when it's meant to be. I think there's some referral thing, link thing. I'm not, I don't like, personally, I don't like referrals. I don't like any of that. I like just this pure buy low market stuff but it is what it is man like just look i'll just give you some friendly advice uh scams pump the hardest number one doesn't mean that this will pump the hardest okay it doesn't mean it will pump hard it's just like i'm not saying it's a scam i'm just telling you that um in a bull market do not underestimate what the new people coming in are gonna do don't underestimate it because what you think is a good idea is not a good idea to them okay and then what you think is a terrible idea one of the terrible ideas, they will uh, pump it higher than you can imagine. I mean, SafeMoon, right? I've reported on my channel multiple times. That kid from CoinFessions Rect, he put in $5,000 into the SafeMoon ICO, which I didn't even know. No one even knew if they ever had an ICO. They, he put five grand into their ICO. He turned into 20 million, did not sell. He was 19 years old. And then it came back all the way down to 1 million. He sold for the 1 million, but because he thought he had lost 19 million in his mind, he went and started leverage trading in the bear market. Now he's got zero. Okay, but uh, yeah, so pretty much he put it into SafeMoon, but 
look at uh, there, there were so many other things that never went up anywhere near that much or they went up like maybe a 5 or 10x with because ethereum did like a 12x so everything went up like you know about a 10x and stuff and then i just died you see so you don't know you don't know when it comes to these um and you'll never truly know but i guess if you just get in early and what we're doing is you'd be playing for okay uh i understand it's chaotic it's random it is a game of musical chairs but there are hundreds of millions of people coming into crypto and maybe they fall into the same mistake as everyone else does, which is, hey, look at this thing. It's going up and it's handing out yield. Maybe, maybe they do that, right? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And they will come and they will overwhelmingly dwarf everybody. I mean, like, look at meme coins, right? People were laughing at meme coins four years ago because there was no such thing as a meme coin four years ago. And then Doge did a 250x. So just imagine... You're sitting there. I mean, I thought uni was going to pump. I thought they were going to put in the buy and burn into uni. If there was all these rumors, they never did it. Uni went nowhere, and then Doge did a 250x. So, I mean, Gaiden does one of the biggest improvements in the crypto industry, one of the biggest pillars of crypto. Okay, you have Bitcoin number one, Ethereum number two, Uniswap formula number three. Okay, now, um, I thought, oh, well, logically, this thing should go like the number three market cap. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Why? Because they're cucks. Because they're soy boy virgin cucks, they have hunched backs, and they drink soy lattes on Mondays, Tuesdays, and, of course, every other day of the week as well. So these people, friends, you can't underestimate them. Okay, sometimes these people just made so much money that uh, they stop improving the protocol as fast as you hope, and they just sit on their ass and do nothing. And then on other times, there's an idea. It's been done like 15 times before. You know it doesn't work, and then that's the one that just ends up popping up. Okay, so I'm, I'm not saying ulti is going to go well. I'm not saying it's ever going to grow off the... Of the, of the floor and yes if it does even move yeah it's very possible it's it's vampiring off titan x zen and hex community it's it's possible it's, it's vampiring off them which is the same subset of people uh but but it's a bull market man um yes i um but my my strategy has always been that you know what if i just see stuff i'm, I'm just gonna throw it in because look I, I was no one ever told me about Safe Moon early. Okay, no one ever told me about all these other stuff. Early. I wasn't told about Shib early. I wasn't told about these. Okay, but man, oh man, if someone did tell me tell me about it and I faded them, I would have the biggest regret of my life. Big, big, big regret. Big regret. Okay, I still regret the thing about Hex. Right? You guys remember that story? I went into Reddit when Hex was literally at its low. Because I didn't know how to buy altcoins. I didn't even have a MetaMask wallet. I had no idea what the hell was going on back in 2020, altcoins. And it hit one Satoshi. Okay, Hex. That was at the bottom. And I went into Reddit. I, I was not on Twitter. And I asked somebody, hey, um, can a coin go below one Satoshi in price? Because I'm looking at this Hex thing. And I had many people DM me saying... Dude, it can go way lower than one Satoshi. Don't touch it. Total scam. Total scam, man. Literally, friends, that was a 10,000 X day. A hundred bucks would have been a million. Just a hundred dollars. I think I was gonna I was going to put in like five hundred bucks. Just thinking about that, man. That would have been far out. But hey, I still I learned. I learned, but look after I learned, I learned because I first did the hundred X after that point. And then I and then I had to wait for the rinsing of the range. You see? So I learned early, just like with Peter, I go, oh, this thing's a scam. The supply's going up. And then Peter went up high enough. I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm There's all these labyrinth of code stuff. But when it dropped 94% again, okay, sweet, I'm in. I'm still in Peter, right? So it, it happened the same thing as well. Oh, man, imagine Peter does a hex move. I mean, Peter already did 5,000 X from the low. So it's already done. Technically, has done near a hex move, right? So you get the point, friend. So when it comes to these games, here's the thing. Um... I'm just calling them Ponzi Nomics musical chairs. And uh, why I'm on the the edge of just about calling that name is because that name's a meme now. Okay? Because uh, if you said Ponzi Nomics musical chairs in 2021, there were a lot of people that got offended by it because the coins are going up and th everyone in Hex and, and Safe Moon and Luna and, and UST, no one, they're like Ponzi and, uh, and, and Unbacked and these words that were like very, very antagonistic to the bull market and stuff. But now... There's like, we have meme coins, friends, like, like calling something a musical chairs, Ponzi nomics is, it's so not taken seriously. They're like, yeah, duh, of course, man. Have you seen the whole crypto industry? And they're right. They're right. Look at the stuff from 2020 that was meant to be backed, chain and Aave and all these other stuff. It didn't matter. They all dropped 95% anyway. They all got wrecked anyway. 
You see, so um, and yeah, the labels and the words are important, but the most important word I've ever teaching taught you or the concepts is ninety percent called ten percent lottery. You don't even really need to dissect what something is. You go, hey, is it more towards a lottery stack? Okay, it's really new, or more towards the the core stack. Hey, obviously this would be more towards the uh, the lottery stack. And um, yeah, I don't know when it launches, and there's gonna be way more friends. You just, it's just gonna be, oh boy. Just take care of yourself, okay? And yeah, you know, you're free to dump on everybody after a two act if you want. Cover half of your initial two if you want. Just like, hey, just see what happens. But yes, I'm not, I'm not fading these things in a bull market. I'll never, ever, ever underestimate what the crowd does when they're hungry to firm and win to anything.